Having a baby used to be a straightforward proposition. You could have a boy or you could have a girl. But now there's a third option. It's called steep civilizational decline. A handful of parents across America are deliberately keeping their children's sex hidden and instead raising so-called babies. The idea is that only the children themselves should be able to decide whether they are boys or girls without any of that pesky biological reality getting in the way. It's all very confusing, like a lot of 2018 is. So, of course, we called in our interpreter of all things progressive, our liberal Sherpa, Kathy Aru, founding publisher of Catalina Magazine. She joins us tonight. So, Kathy, goes without saying you're for this, of course. Yep. But doesn't this mean, if you're going to raise a baby, how would you be able to change your child's diaper? Because the second you change the diaper, of course, you'd no longer be able to pretend that there was a question about whether this was a boy or a girl. You would know. <laughs> well, it's not about pretending. The parent definitely knows the gender. It's about not necessarily labeling the baby. It's about allowing the baby to decide what gender that baby wants to be when that baby can decide, which is around four years old. For, so from zero to four, the baby will not be labeled. The labeling theory will not apply from zero to four years old. The baby will be a baby, neither a boy nor a girl. Uh, whatever gender that baby now what other per to what be. other what other profound life decisions do we think people ought to be making at the age of four? Are there any others? Well, you know, whether to get a tattoo, whether to get married, enlisting in the military, voting, drinking vodka, smoking Marlboro Reds, is there anything else that we think four year olds are ready to decide? Uh, this isn't actually a profound life decision. I mean, biologically, yeah. there's nothing really going on from zero to four in that area that affects a person's life. Um, biologically, the experts say that boys and girls, uh, all genders are alike. The, the boy's brain, the male brain might be a little larger. The uh, female's language might be a little bit more advanced. Okay. No maybe, sexism but... on my show. Hold on. Whoa, Sorry. slow down. No, Sorry. Here you're out there like they say boys' brains are, are larger. And yeah. I just want to say that kind of toxic masculinity has no place in this program. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much. But that's all but they no, can look, think the, of. The bottom yeah. line is yeah. Yeah, all they could think of, like, difference in brain size, difference in genitalia, Perhaps. difference in bone structure. Perhaps. Just minor things minor. like Just minor, minor, minor. things like that. Yeah. No, yeah. not perhaps, like, factually. So those are not minor things. Those are definitive things. Minor. So, like, why would you not tell your kids about that? You know, at some point, they're going to drop trial and look down and say, wait, we look different. You're going to be like, no, you don't. You're exactly the same. And that's, that's lying, isn't that's it? That's when the child, they say, is around four years old. So around zero to four, we're not going to say to a little um, female uh, a girl that uh, you're a little princess or, boy, you're such a tiger. The labels are gone. You're not going to um, put that out outside influence on a child. You're just going to be neutral. Everything's going to be okay. neutral. The, the outside influence. Influence of biological reality. Not so, would reality, you do this with anything perception. else? Would you? Could no, but but could we decide that we're not going to acknowledge temperature, or weather, or traffic? And you could just say, you know what? I don't think it's raining outside. Or you can decide whether it's raining outside. I mean, the weatherman says it is that there's snow on the ground. Or the weather, what? you know what I mean? The weatherman says that it's 15 degrees the, out. But I'm gonna. You know what I mean? Just kind of make up my own reality. The parents who are really no, leading this we acknowledge movement. biology and nature as real, right? But the biology, the parents who came out with this, who came out in the New York Times and started this baby awareness, um, this gender neutral awareness for babies, basically said, why should people be so obsessed if your baby is going to be a boy or a girl? Who cares about that area? It's actually a little human. We are bringing a little human into the world. Who cares about the genitalia? Because, Who cares? Uh, may I just suggest why? And this isn't just my opinion, but the opinion of every person who's ever lived going back, let's just say 10,000 years for the sake of neatness. Because men and women are completely different in key ways. Babies? Can we not say that anymore? Babies are different. Babies yeah. are different. They're little, they're yeah, little they are. human beings, and there's really not much of a difference between <laughs> different genders. No. <laughs> there is no difference. And men and women, right. we would All say, right. are equal. I'm trying right? to laugh so I don't cry. Ka Kathy Aru, you can be equal but different, which they are. Great to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. you.